Sienyun will be released in the first phase of version 4.4, and here's a quick Sienyun farming guide, where we'll cover character and talent ascension materials, as well as her best artifact sets and weapons. As an Anemo character, Sienyun's ascension requires the Veyuda Turquoise Gems. You can obtain these materials by defeating the Anemo Hypostasis and the Sand Worm. Next, you should collect 168 pieces of clear water jade, which can be found in the upcoming new region, Chinyu Vale. You'll also need 40 six pieces of cloud seam scale from the new world boss coming in version 4.4 Xianyan's character and talent ascensions share the same monster materials, scroll drops from Samachils. You'll need 36 Divining Scroll, 96 Sealed Scroll, 129 Forbidden Curse Scroll. For talent books, farm the Gold Series books from Taishan Mansion on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Gather 9 Teachings of Gold, 63 Guide to Gold, 114 Philosophies of Gold. For talents above level 6, you'll require new material, Lightless Eye of the Maelstorm, from my pet, all devouring Nawal. Sienyun is an attack scaling healer, capable of transforming any character into Xiao. So, her choice of artifacts depends on her role in your teams. If you intend to play her as a DPS, you can use the four-piece Desert Pavilion Chronicle set, or a combination of two-piece sets that enhances attack and MO damage. If you want to play her as support, the most effective artifact sets would be Viridescent Venera and Noblesse Oblige. I'd advise against using the Song of the Days Past set. Its mechanics are better suited for DPS characters that scale with HP. While it could potentially synergize with Cloud Retainer, I recommend more testing to confirm its effectiveness. In this specific team test, Nuvalet's charged attack damage increased by approximately 10 to 12%, but this boost was limited to 5 hits only. Moreover, the buff is backloaded and needs mastery over timing and rotations. So, I find Noblesse Oblige and Viridescent Venera sets to be more dependable options. Moving on to weapons, those who want to dive in the plunge meta should consider obtaining Xianyan's signature weapon because it boosts plunge damage of party members by 28% for 20 seconds. For a DPS Xianyan, aside from her signature catalyst, prioritize crit stat weapons since her ascension stat is attack percent. As for a support build, her signature weapon, Crane's Echoing Call is the top choice. The best free-to-play weapons are the Event Limited Oath Sworn Eye and Favonius Codex. That wraps up our Xianyun pre-farming guide. Are you planning to pull for Cloud Retainer? Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.